these are the newest tools being used by South African game wardens to find and prosecute poachers, and they're desperately needed. Poachers killed more than 1,000 rhinos for their horns in 2016. Dogs have definitely contributed to, the, the, to a higher arrest rate of poachers. The problem is that, that, that the value of the contraband has increased so dramatically that more and more pe people are engaging in poaching activities. So have they resulted in a reduction in poaching? I'm not sure you can effectively say that. They've certainly contributed in a higher level of arrests. Watching one of the dogs holding onto a helicopter gives you an idea of how good they are at their jobs. But it takes two years of training by the Ishikawa's Family Foundation and costs about $15,000 per dog. And it's only at that stage that it actually becomes an effective working dog. Um, where we're comfortable to, to be doing hard working activities with it, repelling it out of a helicopter, deploying it into the bush on active trails, tracking and, and arresting at, at active poachers. But the rangers say it's all about building trust between the dog and the handler. So uh, that's most of the obstacles and things you overcome with your dog is you go first and your dog will follow for the first time. After that, he knows this is a safe place, this is the safe thing to do, so let's do it. He, he puts his trust in you. So if he's happy with his handler, then he will do anything for you. The dogs are mostly German Shepherds and Belgian Malinois. Teams have been deployed in parks in South Africa and Kenya and are expanding their reach into Congo. Kevin Enix, VOA News.